Welcome back, everybody, and welcome to another video from uh, from me. Haha, -ha, I've been doing videos the whole time. Jokes on you, no, I haven't. Um, so uh, let's see. This is not where I was. Let's load. Uh, anyway, I am Lutherian, and this is uh, Game Dev Tycoon. Um, I streamed this a little bit ago, and I really liked it. And I wanted to play some more of it, and I just haven't got around to it, and... So a bunch of more ands in there, but, um, no, I can't sleep right now, so I'm just kind of recording a video to see how all this works. And also, just wanted to play some more, so I was like, oh, maybe if it, you know, works well in video format, then I'll keep playing this way. Instead of streaming it, because I'm supposed to be streaming Shinmu 2. If you want to watch that, check out my Twitch channel twitch.tv slash something i can't be bothered right now it's time to make some games okay all right cool so um we just let's see we what did we just do we just finished spaghetti radioactive spaghetti that's what it was okay so what we need to do is make a new game so Let's uh, let's do that. Let's develop a new game. Uh, I think we we just finished doing an engine as well, so um, I think it's it's time. Okay, let's do a sci-fi game. Um, it's gonna be an action game. And ooh, we can do it for the PC. Let's change that action to adventure. It's going to be a sci-fi adventure game called uh, Space Conflict Battlefield. It's an adventure game. Nah, not, not, not the battlefield. This is a, this is Space Conflict um, um Saber Wars. Oh. Uh, let's pick an engine. Domar 1. Let's do this. Next. Uh, let's take out some sweet-ass 3D graphics, because those are those are starting to come along now on the, on the PC, so we should be able to make a really cool game. Um, story and quests are really important, and I feel like design is high for that, so... Let's see. Engine would be technical, I think. So I don't really... The engine is not super important at all. It's just two minuses, so... We'll leave this. I, this this looks good. Um, and while this is doing this, let's mark it. Let's do... Okay, that's a... Let's mark it... Let's wait till we hit phase two, development. Ooh, games convention G three. Space conflict saber wars is is <laughs> appearing <laughs> from Cool Bob Games at the the E three convention. All right, it's a pretty modest show out. You know, almost almost a hundred thousand people. Uh, that's I feel like that's pretty good. Um, hmm. Working on a story and quest. Now we're in stage two development. So I feel like level design... I don't know what part of adventure game level design is not a big thing with, but uh, sure. Level design, real low. Um, artificial intelligence, I feel, is a super huge tech thing. So let's get Garmac on that. And then dialogues. That's a design thing. Fuck it. I'll do it. Okay, we're going to hit OK. Uh, now let's market this bitch. Let's do uh, magazines. Ooh, Sony has announced their PlayStation 1. Fancy, fancy, fancy. All right, so we're generating hype. Ooh, oh, sweet. Sequels. <gasps> yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Okay. All right, all right. I'm, I'm pretty hyped now. I'm hype for the hype that's that's around for the hype. All right, so Bob is overworked. We don't want to work him too much harder here. 
Um, so, I feel like sound is not very important in an adventure game. I feel like graphics are, but world design is really high. So, what if we swapped? Linda can do that. Bob can do that. Actually, no. That was that's a horrible idea. Linda, you stay on that. Bob, you're on this. And fuck it. Bob can get overworked. He doesn't care. He's giving his life for this company, for this game. He's doing it all. They have basic sounds, open world. Um, yeah. You know what? Sa sound is a is a huge technical thing. Leonardo, you can just not do anything. You're not you're not contributing a lot to this team. You're gonna get fired. All right, the PlayStation has been released. Okay, so we got a lot of hype on this game. We finished all these bugs. Potentially, hi boss. I have a knack for security, and I think we could really use the security upgrades in the office. It's a lot, lot safer. Sure, get right to it. Sweet. Okay, are you gonna get any more bubbles? A couple. Oh, we put a bug. We put two bugs in there. Fix those bugs. All right. So that's that's pretty good. Forty-one and forty. I feel like that's uh that's pretty high. I'm not getting any game audio with this, am I? I'm not. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pause this as soon as... Okay, so I'm going to pause it and restart. Oh, much better. Now we have uh, game noises. Anyway, so we're going to... Okay, let's look through this. Uh, we leveled up uh, world design, graphics, 3D graphics, V1, version 1. Uh, Linda Luna leveled up, so she's going to want more money. Awesome. Okay. We can give her more money. New research available. Day and night cycle. Awesome. Okay. So, uh, send you on vacation. Send you on vacation. First reviews are out. Conflict space, or space conflict saber wars. Middling reviews so far. Okay. You know, if we get a bunch of sixes, that's fine with me. That's fine. You know, it's not, it wasn't supposed to be the greatest game of all time. Oh, oh, now I'm the devil. Um, yeah, that's, oh, okay, sixes, sixes all the way down. Um, it wasn't supposed to be, like, the best game ever. So we're going to generate a report. I still feel like the, the numbering system in this is a little bit biased because a six is a, decent score it's an average score i would say uh slightly above average if you look at one through ten as a whole instead of ignoring the bottom half of the the, the fucking scale like most people do but um you know it's fine let's see uh i gotta research sequels because i want to do sequels do some i'm gonna make some sweet ass sequels that's what we want okay so Let's research. What did I also unlock? Let's let's do a new topic. What do we? What else we got in here? We got history, hacking, vocabulary, game 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 dev. Really, really game dev. That's in here. Okay. Um, let's do history. Oh, we're gonna hit start. I want some more? All right. Cool. Game report. Complete. Um, Sci-fi and adventure is a great combination. Artificial intelligence seems to not be important for this type of game. Awesome. I don't think I put a lot into artificial intelligence, but uh, I don't remember. Sorry. Um, I feel like target audience would be a good game design choice to know, because if you know your audience, you're going to be able to develop your game better around it okay so we got all these people back let's research a couple other things um fantasy okay yes and then we'll do one other research what was that airplane oh yes we could make uh burning skies that's uh it's a knockoff of crimson skies um 
None of these... Okay, don't repeat yourself. That's the one that does speed. Because I want to bump my own speed up. I want to I want to get that higher. We need to do that with a couple other people too, but... Alright, so let's just chill. Everybody has their own thing. We've got 8.1 million dollars in cash right now. So let's, let's hire another staff. Let's spend... Four hundred thousand. Um, I feel like I want a game demo. No, I want a show reel because I feel like that's a design thing. Complex algorithms is tech. Game demo is like a balanced person. Show reel is design. It's design all the way. That's what I want. I want somebody with like six hundred design. That's <laughs> or four hundred. Four hundred would be nice. No, I was wrong. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, no, no, wait, no, I'm sorry. I was looking at speed and research. I was like, these numbers are too close together. What did I do wrong? Um, 257, 189. Oh, God. What? Wait, hold on a second. Why is there a, another bar? There? That's weird. Uh, 326, Jonah Chen. Um, we're going to grab her because we don't need another person named Leonardo don't want to hire somebody named Dino. I don't want to fucking hire a dinosaur. What? Wait, hold. Jo Jonah? Yeah, I guess Jonah is a man's name. For some reason, I thought it was going to be a woman. Um, But yeah, it's not. Uh, okay. Let's get him on the welcoming training. Everybody else is just kind of chilling. Uh, let's do a contract work while we wait. For this guy to get his stuff together four weeks four weeks seven weeks four weeks four weeks okay 26 43 46 27 it's a lot of let's fuck it do it bust this shit out guys we got two guys who are super good at tech and i'm pretty decent at tech so i feel like we can get this done our old boy over here, he uh, started a little late. Oh, contract successful. Awesome. All right, cool. Um, so now we need some money. So what kind of publishing deals can we do? Dungeon Action from Brockville Softworks for the Game Boy. I feel like that's a, that could be a good one. Superheroes Adventure, I don't want to do that. I don't like superheroes. Any topic, any genre, any platform... As long as it's a minimum of six and a, a game size of medium. Okay. Uh, that's not bad. A cooking RPG? Oh, that would be pretty hard to pull off on the Super Nintendo, I think. Especially, what? Wait, what was that? Target audience mature? Really? Really? Mature? Uh-uh. No. I'm going to go with this dungeon action game. You now specify what your main target audience is for your game. Games can be targeted at young people, everyone, or more mature audiences. Bam. Picking the right target audience for your game is important. Your target platform can also play a role. Now we know. Uh, this one's going to be E for everyone. Uh, it's going to be a medium game, action, dungeon, gameling, pick a game engine. We're going to use the sweet-ass Domar 1 engine. Um, hmm... A dungeon action game. Um, we're going to call this Silver Moon. It's a game where you, you delve into uh, dungeons. And um, if you play it at nighttime, because it has an in-game clock in it. If you play it at nighttime, it, it, you get buffs. Um, so hence the moon part. And the, you know, the moon is kind of silvery. Yeah, you get it. You get it. Uh, we're not going to do 3D graphics on on the fucking gameling, because that doesn't make any sense. All right. Gameplay is super important for a dungeon action game. Uh, story quest, I don't think, is important. Engine, we're going to bump up. I feel like that's more important than story and quests. Um, all these things work fine. Gameplay, I feel like, is a design thing? I don't know. I guess that could be tech. 
I'm gonna put John on the engine because he's good at stuff. And then uh, Jonah, you can do the story and quests for this game. I'll I'll take care. Bob will take care of all the rest, baby. Already some bugs, like immediately bugs, bugs, bugs. Hi, this is Jorg Longer from Game Nova. I got word Cool Bob Games is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information about your current project? Sure. What's your expectation? Uh, hype the game. Dude, it's going to be sick. Immediately 22 hype. Oh my god, people are blowing up. Some some good ass hype. Alright, so artificial intelligence is going to be super important. Level design is going to be super important. Dialogues, not so much. So... Uh, level design, I feel like, is a design thing, so we're going to keep we keep the current team on this. Um, we're going to swap. This is, I feel like all these are, di are, are design things. Dialogues, level design, um, and artificial intelligence is, of course, tech, and we're, we got James Carmack on that. So, um, yeah, fuck it, we're good. Um, we're going to do some marketing. We're going to do magazines also. This staff list. Oh, okay, cool. I can look at this. Speed research. Speed. Okay, a lot of these guys aren't fast. Jonah's fast, though. That's good. I'll, I'll need to work on that whenever I do the training. Okay, in two months, the Vena gear will be... Okay, cool. Goodbye, game gear. Garbage handheld. I don't like you. Take all six of my... Double uh, A batteries. I don't like you one bit. All right, graphics are super important. Um, so we bump those up. World design, not so much. Sound, sound, yes. So let's do this. Um, sound and world design. <laughs> design, you know. Jonah, you could do world design because it gives you some work. Um, Leonardo, you can do that. You know what, fuck it, Linda, you can do, you can do the graphics. I feel like, I, I've got faith in you, girl. You can knock those graphics out. Um, do we want to go to E3 this year? No, yeah, we will anyway. I don't really want to, but we will. All right, dude, the hype is through the roof for this. A hundred, and it's still going. Oh my god, our fans are, like, ecstatic. Let's kill these bugs. Let's kill them. Kill him quick. 111 hype. All right. We're showing off Silver Moon. Dude, everybody's super excited. I can see it. All right, cool. Can we break 100,000? Break 100,000? Yes. Very much. All right. Oh. Okay, we finished the game. New records for everything. Dude, this game is going to blow it out the water, dude. Oh, my God. I'm super excited. Okay, dialogues up, story and quests up, artificial intelligence up, baby. What do we got? Ooh, 2D graphics up, sound up. Anybody else up? Who else wants some big ups? Nobody. Okay. All right, Silver Moon. Let's release it. The game gear is gone. Bye. Branching story, dialogue tree, better AI, and stereo sound. All things I want to put into the next engine. So... Okay. <laughs> Moment of truth. Here we go. Ah! Ah! An eight! Yes! That's good. Star Games. Loves it. Nice experience, informed gamer. Did they change the names of these? Uh... No, they didn't. Game Hero's always been in here. Give me a nine. Yes! Dungeon and action is a great combination, all games. Awesome. Sweet. Um, Leonardo, generate me a game report on Silver Moon. Tell me what we did right. Um, Linda, I would like for you to research some stuff, because I feel like you're really smart and you can figure stuff out really good. Um, get me... What are our new topics? Construction? Nah, I'll pass on those. For right now um get me branching story i feel like that's a super good one um james it's your vacation time uh chin um uh, i want you to train i want you to become the 
I want you to become the design master. Game design for pirates. Um, and then I am going to research... Uh, I can't do stereo. Uh, fuck it. I really don't want to bother with some of these topics because they're just so bleh. We'll do construction though. All right, we now have more than a hundred thousand fans. Such a big fan base, you should be able to self-publish medium games. All right, cool. Rockville Softworks game meets required ratings. We're looking forward to future business. Thank you, sir. In an exclusive interview a while ago, Cool Bob from Cool Bob Games made very bold remarks about their then in development game Silvermoon and how it would be uber successful. Uh, yeah, spot on. Positive effect on sales. Great. Good marketing campaign by me. Uh, did make it in the top... Damn, dude, how many how many visits do you have to get to get into the top 100 booths? But it's a huge amount. All right. Leonardo, tell me what we did right. Post-release, dungeon and action is a great combination. World design seems to not be very important for this type of game. Hmm... Sure. I feel like world design is a it's an important part of games in general, and I don't know how that it's not more. Dude, his technology is way down. Uh, Linda, why don't you train also? Um, do. Speed's kind of low. Do speed. You need to speed up. James, let's see what you need to do. Your design is super low. I don't care about that, though. Your speed's good. Technology's great. Research is great. Um, you're, you're my tech guy. You're my tech guy. Always bump that tech up, bro. All right, Leonardo. Let's see. Let's, what, what, do you, what do you bring to the table, Leonardo? You're just my second employee, but so far you've been the most useless person. Hmm. But you're pretty good at research, right? He's my best researcher, I think. There were some noises going on there. I don't know what that was. Uh, train. Let's see. I've got great everything. I want to bump my design up, though. Let's do. Let's do game design for pirates for me, also. And let's do staff list here. Okay, so speed, I've got 344. Leonardo's got 175. That needs to go up. 168 for Luna. 222 for James. 269 for Jen, uh, John. Jonah. Jonah, even. All right, so research 242. 294 research for James. 210 for Luna. And 269 for old boy here. Um, so what was, uh, 294? Not even my best researcher! Oh, Leonardo, you're getting fired, dude. You're gonna, you're gonna get going. Um, let's see. I can't research anything else. I don't get any more points. Um, I should, I should make this one guy do. <laughs> I should make him make his own game. That's part of the initiation here. While everyone else is training, you have to make your own game and do every single part of it yourself. I wonder if you can split the development up. Like, you have two people start in a game and then... Like, the rest of the team works on another one. It's probably a bad idea to do that. Um, let's see. Publishing deals. Any topic, any genre. Electronic mass productions. Young audience, medium size games, score six. Medieval simulation. Uh, no thanks. Any topic RPG? Minimum score four. Uh, I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, fashion action. That's a weird combination. RPGs, Super Nintendo, done deal, bro. Minimum score four. I can do this. Easy. Boss is way too hot. Uh, did I did I say no to that? Damn it! I was clicking to make the dialogue pop faster. Oh well, it's fine. Do a medium game. So this is a uh, let's pick a topic first. It's got to be an RPG. It's got to be on the Super Nintendo. 
Um, this one is going to be a fantasy RPG, of course. Um, on the Super Nintendo. Pick our sweet Dom engine. It's going to be E for everyone. Um, this is going to be the final story. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Um, let's, let's just do last story. I like that better. It's, uh, it, you know, it's, it's it's make or break for our, uh, our studio here. We, it's, it's, you know, we can't, if we don't, if we don't do it now, we're done. I say that, that's bullshit. All right, so safe bet to just leave Bob on there because we don't know. Story side quests I feel are super important, so let's get somebody else who's high in design, which is Jonah Chen. Uh, so Jonah, you can stay on there, and then engine I feel like is not super important, so let's bump that down. Um, and actually let... Uh... No, fuck it, James. James, you're on there. Okay, let's go let's see if we can get to development cycle two. And then maybe maybe bump up some hype, you know? Okay. So level design I feel like is not super important. Actually no, artificial intelligence I feel like is not super important. Dialogue and level design. These are the two big ones. So level design and dialogues I feel are both design things. Um, I'm going to let Jonah take care of dialogues and Linda you can do the level design James Garmack you're my man you are on all right let's market this shit um I don't feel like a demo for an RPG for the Super Nintendo makes sense maybe it puts it at like kiosks or something I'm not really sure but we're gonna do that one let's hype this shit way up hopefully we can get some cool shit going on here. How many how many gift copies of this sold? Holy shit, three million units almost? That's crazy. Alright, so world design super big. Super big world design. We're gonna put Bob on that. Graphic up. Sound. Sound, is that a design thing? I feel like sound is also a design thing. Fuck it, Leonardo, you gotta do something, man. You do sound. Let's see how well this works. Alright, so this game's not very technologically advanced. But it's been designed to shit, buddy. I tell you that right now. Holy fuck. Not a lot of hype, though. I did a... I did a um, you know, I did a, a campaign with some demos and everything. And still not a lot of... Uh, not a lot of hype. 36? Really? That's it? Okay, get a couple more bubbles. Oh, no, get those bugs out. Fuck it. I gotta finish it. Alright. Last story is ready. It's new record for design. This is our highest design game ever. So, engine's up. It might be time to build a new engine. After this, I feel like we'll have enough research points to get the rest of the stuff that I want for the engine. Ooh, 2D graphics up, baby. Alright, Bob level up. Uh, James? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Alright. Let's see, uh... Let's see what kind of game we got on our hands here. Professional. Reach level 5 with a character. Yeah, baby. Special training item called Boost. The training for it's expensive. Can only do it once. Your character has five, at least 500 design or technology points, but the investment is well worth it. Ooh. Once trained, the boost allows you to temporarily increase the output of your staff and can really help you make a hit game. Due to salary increase, James Garmack wants more money. Special training available for Bob. Multiplayer 2D Graphics V4. Oh, yes. Alright, there's a clear trend towards action games recently. Okay. Um, we don't. The game's not even finished yet. Let's generate a game report, though. Let's go ahead and do it for the last story. All right, reviews are in. What do we got? What do we got? I saw that 10 pop up a lot. Oh, yeah? Another great game. Star Games, thank you. Very enjoyable. Very. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh come come on, Inform Gamer. Come on, man. 
Give me, give me, ooh, a nine. Fantasy and RPG, great combination. Great combination. That's what I'm talking about. An eight. Okay, so solid, uh, what, are, what would you say that is? Like, um, two eights and a seven and a nine. I feel like the average is still eight on that, but okay. Uh, boss, the heat is becoming a serious problem. Really needed air conditioner. Unfortunately, the previous offer has expired. I meant to do that last time, dude. Dude, we just... Yes. I just bought two air conditioners for $180,000. Awesome. Okay. Um, Luna, you need to go on vacation. Leonardo, you need to go on vacation. Um, Jonah, I would like for you to... Fuck it, you also go on vacation? Garmac, we're, we're here alone, man. This is us. Um, I want you to do... Do some tech, bro. While I'm over here researching this shit. Alright, cool. Um, game needs required ratings. Awesome. Nintendo 64. Woo, baby. This will never allow this for 3D realism. In recent years, yes, has lost um, a lot of market share. Yes. Okay. Alright. What is our what is our game report? Uh, fantasy and RPG is great combination. Engine seems to not be very important. Platform genre match good. Platform audience good. Topic audience match great. We have some additional insights. Jonah Chen is still new to the team. A few more games and the team will have higher potential. Oh wow, this is, this is really good when you have like an actual person doing research. Leonardo, you are getting so fucking fired, dude. We should try to focus our entire team on the development of the game. Our fan base is big enough with self-publishing medium games. Unless a publishing deal gives us a great royalty rate, we were better off publishing medium games ourselves. Okay. Of course, I would say that because I'm the owner of the fucking development studio. Um, wow, 100 research points. Well, let's, let's do dialogue trees. We got branching paths. Um, Jonah... See, you're already back from vacation. You're super baller, dude. I like you. You're really cool. Um, research some multiplayer, dude. And once that's done, we'll make an engine. We'll pop one out. We'll, we'll just we'll just do it. We'll rub it out. Uh, what can you research now? Fashion. Oh. All right. Um. It's... You know what, Leonardo, I'm keeping you for now, but you're on thin ice, buddy. Thin, thin ice. Uh, we, we don't have a game. Do a small booth. We don't even have a game out, but it's fine. All right, let's make an engine. Create a custom engine. We're going to go... Uh, we're going to go Dom R2, because that's as far as this went. We're going to include branching story, multiplayer, character progression, dialogue tree, all these options that I wanted to put in the last one and I jumped too early on the Dom R1 engine. Let's slap that in there. We're going to do this. Last story sales, dude. Got a lot of fans. We don't have a lot of money right now. It kind of broke. 7.6 mil. Oh, man. I should still show it off last story. I should port that. I should port that to the PlayStation. That's how you make money nowadays anyway on, the, on games. You just you just continuously port. 140,000 people, not bad. Okay, I bet that's still nowhere close. Uh, okay, cool. N64 has been released. That's exactly what I want. Um, did not make it in the top 100. So you, you gotta have like probably like a million people to even make it in the top top 100 is ridiculous missed over 500k in a new engine sweet all right cool um of course now now that we've done that we've got uh a lot of stuff all right so let's we can look through our entire list of games here which is cool um all the way back to our first and we could we could make a sequel to ball bounce <laughs> <laughs> ball bounce to the ball bouncing. Um, let's see, harvest sun, bad. 
Uh, Ninja Souls also bad. I had a really rock, rocky start here. My, my best game was Harvest Sun for the first little bit. Gorilla Island. I don't even remember what that one was. Vagrant Evil. First Adventure. Oh, dude, we can make Vagrant Evil too. That's what we should do. A horror action game on the on the N sixty four. That that's it. That's it. That's what we're doing. All right, we're we're slapping a sequel on here. We'll, we'll probably make some other sequels later. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, go. Where was it? Burglar. <laughs> Fucking burglar, dude. I forgot about burglar. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, first adventure, vagrant evil. This is what this we're gonna select. This is this is what we're gonna do. Uh, it's gonna be rated M for mature. It's gonna be a medium game. It's gonna be horror, of course. Um, it's gonna be action. It's gonna be on the ooh. The play system was a much hard harder course system. Uh, dev cost. What's the license cost two hundred thousand. Oh god, two hundred thousand for the N sixty four also. Market share is higher on the PlayStation. Fuck it, we'll go there. Never been a Sony person, but fuck it, we'll do it. Stu Dom R2 engine. We're gonna have sweet, sweet 3D graphics. Oh shit, hold on. Oh, I didn't name the game. Uh. Fuck. I didn't name the game. Oh, man. Okay. Um, action game, story quest, not so much. Gameplay, yes. Engine, yes. Um, Leonardo, you can just handle the story quest. That's fine. Um, I will handle the gameplay. Uh, Jonah, you can chill out for a minute. I'll let you guys work on the next one. Uh, there's no need for a branching story. No need for multiplayer character progression. Actually, fuck it. Branching story, that's pretty baller. Let's throw that in there. Could you imagine a branching story horror game? Last story's not off market. How I many units did that sell? I didn't sell that many units. Damn. I guess the market share for the Super Nintendo wasn't as... It's not as high as I thought it was. Um, so artificial intelligence super high, level design also super high. So we got Linda on there. Um, yeah, this works actually. Uh, let's bump down dialogues a little bit because I feel like that's not super important. Um, I don't really need a level editor. I feel like throwing in some of these things just for the shits and giggles is not really worth a time. Dialogue tree, PlayStation game, no, we're good. All right, well that's that. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's let's um. God dang, I wish I could change the name of that. All right, we'll do a small marketing campaign. See if we can generate some hype. All right, I'm Steve O'Connell, a reporter from Planet GG. We've heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Uh, yeah, great. Thank you for your time. Cool. Publish interview next week. Hopefully, people like it. Uh, world design not important at all graphics and sound i feel like for horror it's super up all right leonardo i don't i don't really want you to do sound i don't want you to do sound design I'll let linda do it for the graphics because she's good at stuff apparently graphics not super important either so sound must be way up so fuck it leonardo you can do that linda you do that Actually, no, Jonah. Jonah, no, you're fine doing that. Linda, you do that. Leonardo can go fuck himself. He can do world design, actually. It doesn't need to be an open world game. I should have got stereo sound. According to the interview, the company's working on its first targeted game at Mature Players. Uh, we think players are looking for mature content games willing to risk give it to him. What can work comic? Just react to these games. Oh shit! Mature games aren't a thing for PlayStation yet. It's still for children. Some hype. All right, we got a lot of bugs to work out. I would like to get rid of those. Can we get? Can we get a couple more bubbles? Little pips? Little pippy pips? 
Yeah, just just a couple, couple more. Seems that the market is normalized again. No particularly strong trends at the moment. I'm actually glad I waited then. Okay, we're going to hit finish. We're going to change the name of the game for fucking sure. This is Vagrant Evil 2. Do it that way with two eyes. Cool, leveled up some boys. Gameplay up, that's what I'm talking about. New record on tech, dude. Due to increase in salary, both of those guys want some more money. They can have it. That's fine. We gotta, we gotta release a real banger here. We're getting lower on cash. We're not really making any money. First review. I changed the name of the game. Fuck. Fuck. I changed it. Did I not? I didn't. I don't think I hit the the save, the save new name button. I don't. I don't think I did that. Well then, met with middling response. Actually, it's pretty, you know, above average. Better than the name. Good, because I forgot to fucking name it. <sighs> I'm actually really upset about that. Super Nintendo will be off the market in two months. Okay. Um, I'm going to generate a game report for... Ugh. Okay. James Garmack, I'm going to send you on vacation because I don't think you've had a vacation since you started working here. Um, let's research stereo sound. It's going to be super important later. Research game tutorials. I feel like those are going to be important later. And research better AI. When our boy Garmac comes back, everybody should be ready to. to okay. Um, while all this is going on, I want you to train. I want you to be the best design man on the planet, dude. Game tutorials. All right, Linda. I want you to train also. I want you to increase your speed. Ah, up your design. Let's see. Let's do... Design for him, too. Leonardo. Dude, I'm really about to just fire this dude, because he's so useless. Um, make me think. Do you better get your research up or something, dude? Because you're gonna you're gonna get gone quick. All right, Cool Bob's games recently released a sequel to their Vagrant Evil, the newest game in the series. <laughs> Made with great response. Critics praise had a newer engine than the original, really driving up technical innovation. Uh, post release uh, story and quest seems to not be important. Got it. I I did not do story and quest. I'm pretty sure I put that all the way down. It's fine though. Uh, let's train. Boost. I have 20 RP and I gotta have 500 and something. Let's bump up my uh, my design also. Super Nintendo is no longer supported. Released two games for the platform and earned a total of 10.4 million. Oh, rest in peace, Super Nintendo. He's over there. Look at him. We'll have one forever. All right. I didn't even notice that changed over there. Okay. Alright. Once everybody finishes this, we'll start on a new game. We'll see what's available. Huh? Ah, we're still selling units. This is really good, actually. Um, let's see what publishing deals are available. Any topic, strategy, blue bit games, medium young, minimum score five, no sir. Airplane strategy, no sir. Any topic, simulation, Nintendo, no sir. Abstract action. For the, for the master system? Come on, dude. This thing is dead. Why is this still here? Lowwood Productions. Like, what do you, what? Who still has a master system? Let's do this. Uh, I don't have a license for this Nintendo 64, so I'll have to buy one. 
It's fine. Yes. Um, we'll do a medium game. This will be everyone because I think it's locked into everybody. It's going to be a simulation. Um, what kind of sim game do we want? I want um, Urban Planner. Uh, let's see. Construction Simulation. Super Nintendo. Dom R2. Gonna need cool 3D graphics. Game number 17 is off the market. I hate everything. <laughs> I really do. I hate everything. All right. I feel like story and quest super unimportant at all. Uh, Leonardo, you can handle that. James Garmack, you are handling the engine with me, buddy. Um, we are gonna. There's no need to put that in there. There's a linear story. Um, char character progression, sure. Fuck it, dude. We're at multiplayer. This is gonna be like a, a fucking split screen Sim City. That's what we're doing right here. Split screen Sim City. That's us. All right. Hi, this is Arnie. K K okay. I couldn't say that word for some reason. Uh, from Electric Games, I got word that Cool Baba Games is working on a new game. Sure. Readers, blah, blah, blah. New game. Um, we're going to focus on the engine right now. We're going to go on engine. Thank you for your time. Story and quests don't seem to be very important at all for a simulation game. Da, 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 da. Particular important such games. Okay, cool. Um, artificial intelligence level design dialogues down. Um, level editor, yes. So let's add Jonah Chen, James Garmack. I feel like this is good. This is good. And then we are going to market the piss out of this. Uh, let's do games and magazines and demos. That's what I really wanted to say. Magazines and demos. How did they... They didn't have, like, demo cartridges for... Oh, my God. All right, we'll do small booth again. You know what? Fuck it. We'll do medium booth. We're visitors at this booth. Demos for our games. We're working on our sweet-ass... Graphically intensive. World design can be kind of up. That's fine. Uh, sound. Open world. Sure. Slap that on there. Alright. Alright, cool. So hopefully G3 comes around before our... Game gets released and hype can go way up. So we gotta work all these bugs out. Uh, action games. Oh, cool. Great. I'm doing the wrong kind of game for that. Hey guys, boss, a small number of dedicated fans has asked that we release our source code for <laughs> Zaku 1 engine. Um, dude, yeah, dude. We can have it. Take it, bro. Alright, cool, cool. We get to sh ah, game number 17. Come on, man. Urban Planner. That's the big one. Push for Urban Planner. Dude, we, we do not have that many people coming to our booth. Holy shit. Come on, we couldn't get over 200,000? Jesus Christ. Just give where blah, blah, blah. Overall, we gained. It cost us 3,000. Okay, that's not bad. Didn't make it in the top. Oh, my God. Dude, we're never going to get in that top. Okay, we got a really good technology-based game. Somebody just slapped a bug in two. Okay, all right, fuck it. We're doing it. Large games. Baller. Okay, I feel like after this, this is a good, good place to stop right here. After this... After this glorious, awesome game has finished and comes out, this is a good place to stop because I'm actually starting to feel kind of tired. So I started recording just because I was, <laughs> I was like, can't sleep. So I'll do something to bore myself. I was like, oh, this won't work out at all. This won't be very good. But I feel like I'm having a lot of fun, and I hope you do too. All right, so we're going to release Urban Planner. Do you increase in... Okay, Luna, you earned it. Easter eggs and 3D graphics V2. Sweet. Renovation work on our computer systems are also out of date. Investing a little bit. Fuck it, dude. Do it. Oh, man, dude. We have a sweet-ass office now. Holy shit. All right. I like that a lot. Um, let's learn some 3D graphics V2, version 2. 
Jane, uh, Vina Plan. Oh shit, dude, Dreamcast. Dude, oh my god, Jerry Game Report. Urban Planner. First reviews are in for Urban Planner. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Next thing, greatest thing since sliced bread. Masterpiece. <gasps> ah! Informed gamer, you bastard. You dirty, dirty bastard. Yes! Thank you, Game Hero. Yeah! Thanks, all games. All right, cool. Masterpiece right there. That's what we got. Okay. I'm actually 100% okay with that. I want to end it there on a high note. So we're going to save that. And uh, we'll pick it up next time. Thanks for tuning in if you watched. And if you didn't make it this far, fuck you. <laughs>